If you want to know how to make an epic unboxing crate for your friends to purchase things, make sure to watch the video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, I'll go back to this brand new video on my newbie channel, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make an unboxing system so you can purchase something and you will get a, a sword or a gun, one of those. And you can make multiple if you want, and um, that's going to be really epic. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and drop a subscribe. Because yes, you will be a pocketfied gamer, and if you're a pocketfied, that means you're epic. And if you're epic, then epic. So, if you want to become a member, go ahead, uh, click the blue join button down below, and we should start off. So, we are going to be making it a bit easy. I'm going to make a part. You want to scale it. I'm going to make it like a crate-ish. I'm just going to do it like this. You want to add in a script. And something called a proximity prompt. What you can do is like, uh, it's like jailbreak. You can press E and enter a fecal. Over here you can see keyboard key code, whatever you want. You can set it to, if someone presses 4, like holds 4, I don't know. I'm going to set it to E. Because that's the best thing to do. Then for action text, I'm going to do purchase. And for object uh, text, I'm going to do um, unboxing, um, unbox a tool. So for testing, we're going to type script apparent the proximity prompt dot triggered call connect function player. So that's cool. And now for testing, we're going to do print player dot name. We're going to click this, we're going to click play, and we'll see what happens. So we joined, and if you go over here, you can see unbox a tool, and if we hold E, okay, well, not holding, but if we click E, it's going to spam my name. Now, if you want to edit this, you can do a hold a duration, and you can set it to, I'm going to do 30 seconds. And if we would test it now, you'll see if we hold E enough, uh, like for three seconds. If we hold E, it's gonna go, and then boom. And as you see, if we hold it, nothing's happening until it reached the end. So that is uh, very cool. So I'm just gonna do, instead of unbox a tool, I'm just gonna do unboxing, create. Why not? So you wanna add in a remote event in replicated storage. I'm gonna rename it to buy create. Or something, whatever you want. And we're just gonna do game dot. Oh, that goes a bit wrong. Um, and uh, game the replicated storage storage dot fire create clone fire clients for the player. Only for the player. We're gonna make some leader stats. Add in a script in service script service. I'm gonna name it leader stats. I want to type game players the player added colon connect function player uh local leader stats is equals to instance dot new folder not leader stats stupid newbie uh into the player we're gonna immediately put it in the player then leader stats dot name is equals to leader stats and make sure to not type it like this but this you get my point local money is equals to instance that new mm, number value into leader stats like this money dot value is equal to zero and money dot name is equal to uh, money I'm a bit confused sorry I'm gonna call this create I'm gonna call this a create handler and then over here we can type if player dot leader stats dot money dot value is um, higher or equals to 100, so you need 100 money at least to buy a crate. Then game the replicator storage, the buy crate, call on fire client player. But if this is not the case, uh, we're gonna do nothing. So you'll see if we play our game. And we go over here, we're gonna purchase it. You're gonna see nothing is gonna happen. 
And also not over here because we didn't even do anything. Um, so to make it cool, we can go to starter GUI, I guess. Yes, we want to go to starter GUI. Add a screen GUI. I'm going to do a decorate unboxing. I'm going to go to... Do, 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 what should we do? Frame. Anchor point. Point 0.5 comma point 0.5 It's gonna be a bit offset, don't worry Position point 0.5 comma 0 comma point 0.5 comma 0 It's gonna be in, directly in the middle for every device I'm gonna set the size to 500 by 350 So it's like this, like this. it looks cool um, We can add in a text label Make the size 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 50 it's going to be like longer and then if you would size your frame in every direction it's always going to go with you oh there we go i'm going to make it invisible i'm going to make it oh my god what am i doing i'm going to add a roboto why not i'm going to do unboxing create as the text because it looks cool gotham black maybe you go epic and I'm gonna make another text label. This is going to be the title. This is one good. You got a like that. I'm gonna put it on the position. The Y position is gonna be down by 50. Mm, let's make it 100 down. Let's make the size smaller. So I'm gonna 0, 0,500. That did not work out. Oh, because it is oh, 500. You did 250. And we're gonna, um, let me see. 500, it's gonna be, for the X, it's going to be 250. No? Oh, then it's 125. I'm right. And you can do, you got a dot dot dot. Like that. And then you can do over here, end result. Like that, and you can put it down if you want. I'm gonna do it like here. I'm gonna do 175, so it's all symmetric. And I'm just gonna do value over here. You can customize that as you want. I do not mind. Create unboxing, add a local script. Over here, we can type game.replicated storage dot by create dot on client event, colon connect function player. Print player dot name dot dot uh, has purchased a crate because just for testing purposes we can print the player's name and find out if they actually purchase a a crate and if they didn't we can do maybe nothing but okay um so we can do local um let's see local Sorry, I'm yawning. Local uh, random random number is equals to math dot random one out of three. I want three items. I want a gun, a sword, and a uh, what do you call that? A gun, sword, uh, knife, or something. I do not mind. So we can do um. I'm gonna wait three seconds. If a random number is equals to equals to one, then uh, so if the random chosen number is equals to one, equals equals to one, then we're gonna do script the parent dot frame dot end result the text is equals to you uh well let's do over here local sword is equals to sword local knife is equals to knife and local gun is equals to gun so if it is one we're gonna do a sword else if random number is equals equals to two then script dot parent dot frame dot end result dot text is equals to knife else if random number is equals equals to three then script dot parent dot frame that end result, the text is equals to gun. So this is uh, pretty good. 
what we're going to do is um, we're going to add three more remote events. So we want to duplicate it by three. Make this a sword, gun, and knife. Then change this script name to the main handler. Then go to your script, press enter, and type game that replicated storage. Dot sword colon fire server for the player. Then copy this line. And behind knife, copy it, uh, copy and paste it. Sorry, and for gun two. But you'll notice sword, sword, sword. That's not the case. We're gonna do knife, uh, knife. What? Uh, that's oh over here, knife, and gun. Then we're just gonna do, um, let's do wade three. Script dot parent dot frame dot visible equals to false, and script dot parent dot frame dot end result dot text is equals to nothing. Now copy these lines, and paste them over here too. Just like this. It's a bit of text, I know, but just do as I do. Um. So what we can do is well, let's wait point one. Like this. This is for now the good script. I'm gonna go to your main handler and over here, uh, over here we can type game dot replicated storage dot sword dot on server event colon connect function. And we're not gonna do a player function because we already um, uh, like argumented it over here at the top. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this and paste it two more times. Then change sword to knife, and change another sword to gun. Now go to your game, click view, click toolbox, and get some guns. I'm gonna get a normal gun. Uh, I don't need a shooting gun. Okay, sure, I'll get this one. I'll get the gun in replicator storage. I'll get a knife tool. This one, cool. I'm gonna put it in there. Put it in replicated storage. I'm gonna get a sword. I'm gonna get the Roblox one because it is very uh, good. I'm gonna click yes. I'm gonna put it in a replicated storage. Make sure they are different names because your script is going to get confused. So make this like a hand knife, hand gun, and hand sword. Else you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna try and clone this into a player backpack. That's not gonna work. I forgot something. Go back to your local script. And it can do script.parent.frame that visible is equal to true. And then once there is an end result, we're already making it invisible again. So we don't need to do that. Go back to your main handler. And over here we can type local uh, sword to give is equal to game.replicate storage.hand sword. But we're going to immediately clone it by doing a uh, colon clone. Enter sword to give the parent uh, equals to player dot backpack. Make sure it's not this because that will break the script. Make sure it's backpack. Copy these lines. Paste it in. Paste it in. Now change sword to give to knife. Make sure to copy it over here too. Boom. Then instead of hand sword, hand knife. Over here, gun to give. Gun to give. Game the replicator storage dot hand gun. And this is going to work. Now that we've done this, we're gonna test it out. If you're curious, you can do print. Oh my, print random number so we know what we're gonna get click everything away let's double check this if player da, 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 yes let's go to the frame make it invisible by clicking that let's click play here and test this out let's press f9 what is this 
well, we can do game dot uh, players dot newbie dev. Put your own Roblox name in there. Dot leader stats. Dot money dot value. I'm gonna give myself th well 500 coins. To test. Now we're gonna walk up to this. We're gonna purchase one by holding E. And something happened. Player dev local script attempt to index nil with name. Local script line two. And I indeed forgot something important over here. We need to type player dot leader stats money dot value equals to player dot leader stats dot money dot value minus one hundred because you need to purchase it for a hundred dollars. We're gonna see our error. I mean, we don't need the printing anyway, so let's remove it. Let's play again. Let's purchase another one. And we don't have any money. Oops. Let me just... There we go. That was a bit stupid. So we're going to purchase one. $100 gone. And we only see this. End result is not a valid member of frame. Let's check line 30. Hmm. What? What do you mean? But the rest of the... Things are also not visible. That's a bit strange. I'm gonna give this index a two, so it's always on top. We're gonna do three dots to make it more exciting. Hmm, that is a really weird error. Let me check. Let's see. Oh, now, there we go. Bud. Yeah, there we go. What happened to our frame? Hmm? Huh? What? Okay, I understand that, but why is everything gone? So I had to re-download Studio. Why? Just why, man? Anyways, um, it should work now. I hope. I will be very mad if it doesn't. Okay, let's go. Game. There we go. Now, if we hold. We should get the frame. There we go. Unboxing crate. You got immediately got the squad in an inventory. And we can fight people now. Let's go. Mario. So if we do it again. We should get something else. We got a gun. I Because of the number. You got a gun. And now we got a hand pistol. Wow. And if we try. I'm going to try get a two. Yep. We got a two. You. And then unboxing crate. You got a knife. And now we got a knife in our inventory, and we can throw it. So that was a very epic tutorial. If you did enjoy this tutorial, do not forget to like and subscribe. Else you are not pogified, and you really want to be pogified in my tutorials, okay? So if you enjoyed, just leave a like, and I will be very happy. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya!